I don't want to take too much of your time, but I wanted to give an update on what's going on with the city before you grow for the summer. And uh, right now we're busy with budget time. You know, I chair the Fire and Criminal Justice Committee. Not surprisingly, but factually, the mayor once again is trying to close fire companies. I just, it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But this mayor succeeded back in 2003 in closing seven fire companies. When we close even one, response time increases the life threatening emergencies, not just fires, it could be building collapses. Most of the times it's medical emergencies. But even sometimes we have to still remember we're still the number one target for terrorists, more so than any other place. And that's why it doesn't make any sense to cut our public safety services. So you have my promise, and the council, not just myself, but the speaker and all the council members have been united on this issue of keeping our fire companies open. The other area in the budget that the, the mayor continuously goes after is libraries. He wants to cut funding. Our libraries are cut to the bone. And you know when you're, you're in Massachusetts the library, or you're, if you get a chance to go over to, the, I know they're under renovation right now, Elmhurst Library, but our libraries are used by people of all ages. And their kids go there after school. Uh, many people, especially in this time of economic uncertainty, look for a job opportunity by using the resources there. And our seniors go after, you know, just to, to read and uh, they need to stay open, they need to stay fully funded, not cut back the way the mayor is currently planning on cutting them back. I'll, I'll open up questions in a little bit, but I know that uh, just as the congressman, right before he wrapped up, he spoke about the parks in the area and uh, the Elmer's Park, which was quite an achievement he was able to accomplish with the community. And it is important to get more green space for Elmhurst, for Massfit, and our neighborhoods. Um, he did mention that within the park, there's an area for a future Vietnam memorial. And, and I wanted to give a brief update because at the end of this month, there's a moving memorial that's coming to Juniper Park. And that's a, a special one, so it's a Vietnam memorial. And I encourage everyone to go visit. You can always contact my office for more information, but it'll be there for about two weeks. And uh, right around the 4th of July, to do, please take the time to go visit the memorial. That a lot of planning was put into place by the Middle Village Chamber of Commerce to, to bring the movie memorial to Juniper. Elizabeth, what about uh, the proposed part of the 61st and that's the What's going on with that? There, that's, what was that called, Martin Luther? So, right now, Martin Luther says they want to wait until after their graduation to continue discussions with uh, the city of New York. But we are working on two pocket, pocket parks that would be almost free. Uh, you know, Martin Luther, they want to sell that property. It's a green space. I don't think that'll ever become built upon. And one way to ensure that is to buy it from them at a reasonable price, we hope. And if that comes to be, then that's good. But it's only a step in the direction that we'd like to go to find more green space for Maskrit. And with the help of Common and 73 and Maskrit Town Hall, we found other areas near IS 73 and another area near Maskrit Town Hall where there are a few plots of land together that were owned by the city and forgotten about. And we want to take those areas and make little green spaces, neighborhood green gardens, some other areas like Forest Hills has one, there's one or two in Corona. It's a new uh, popular way of finding green space in urban centers and uh, I'd like to make sure that Massachusetts has the first of a few around here. We're working on that project with Green Thumbs in the Parks Department. Have you discovered any property in West Massachusetts like that? No, and if you know a piece of property in West Massachusetts, please let us know. The two pieces that we have are right, one's by 73, the other one is only a few blocks away, closer to Massachusetts Town Hall. I have another question with the budget. You were talking about, you know, the cuts and everything. The health department, and I was talking to them about Ben Bramer's office, the rat situation, I mean, all over the place. Yeah. The mice, we, the rats. We got a particular complaint for 74th Street, and they're supposed to come and 
debate. Unfortunately, there's a person that is homeless living in and around the vicinity by 74th Street and uh, the stop and shop. And we have a problem. We have uh, homeless services trying to get this person into shelter. However, it seems that he was attracting a lot of rodents and you would expect vermin. He was feeding the rats, but we had the rats from the high school when they were dogged. The rats were left over from PS58 when they dug, and I know Rome and everybody over there suffered with rats on 57th Avenue. So we've been asking for months because I know there was spots on Grand Avenue by Mizzou Street. Now they're all over 74th Street. Right. I mean, the health department just doesn't have the funding that they used to have, you know, to do basic services for people's health. If somebody you're, gets you're bit right. by a rat, right. it's very and scary. What's worse is they've gone into private property and they've cleaned up and they haven't been paid. This is a part of the health department that if it was run uh, efficiently, it could be a money-making business. A lot of the time, when the Department of Health goes out to clean or to bake, it's on private property. And the owner of that property should be paying the city for the services. But the property has been run to the ground. I addressed this issue with the mayor's office. I've introduced a resolution and a series of bills, but they haven't been heard yet. And I introduced them over a year ago. Our health committee is very busy. And it hasn't been a, a priority to the administration. It's unfortunate, it's not right, and it's impacting our quality of life.